Today we play through Bowser's Fury, but water and air have been swapped. And a quick warning, this is one of the glitchiest things we have ever seen. Okay, so where we are falling right now, this should be water right now. Oh, and we saw a little bubble over there. <laughs> okay, so we start the game, we are swimming like this. I'm really curious about the goop. Oh, has the goop been removed? Let's see. Oh no, we just fall down here. Yep, there's Bowser over there. Okay, so here we are. We are just below the ocean right now. It's so weird to see just a Bowser over there. Let's swim on over to him. Hello, Bowser. And it's funny that normally, you can see that we're over here and Bowser still hasn't woken up. Like, Bowser isn't shooting fire at us or anything. And that's because normally there's a little cube area over there right at the start of the ship that once you step over there, that's what awakens Bowser. But if we just go over here, Bowser's still sleeping. Well, there's something that I really want to show you over here with this Bowser. Take a look at this Bowser over there. Do you see that right there between Bowser's feet? I want you to take a look at this. Let's get close to this. Some of you might re- Oh! Yeah, and when you go between Bowser's legs, you do get a super bell power-up. That's something that I actually forgot about because I haven't done that in a while. But, as you can see, this cube is still here. This cube is part of Bowser's model. And some of you might remember this from my video where we made Bowser as big as possible, where if you make Bowser bigger, that cube also keeps getting bigger. But as you can see, Bowser hasn't been woken up yet, and we can swim on over to the first catch shite right over there. There's Bowser in the background, but we'll just swim up to the catch shite. Yeah, the world has become Discord light mode now. Oh, what if we swim past Bowser Jr.? What if we swim above Bowser Jr.? Let's try this. Oh, and we reached a spot where Bowser Jr. got triggered. I have a video about what happens if you try to skip Bowser Jr. And that was actually one of the first really popular videos on my channel. I started doing daily uploads around that time. Oh, and I just realized the underwater music is still playing this whole time. Bowser Jr. defeats these conch doors for us. The lighting here looks very, very different with how bright it is without the goop. Okay, we can still get that block, which is nice. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Where did it go? Wait, where did it go? Did it float up? Where did the super bell go? Did it get stuck on this? I don't know where the super bell went, and I just realized that we had the super bell power up before we got the first cat shine, and now we don't have it anymore. Oh, it just gets destroyed because it's underwater! So the power-ups just get destroyed almost immediately because they're in contact with the water. Wait, and the kittens are all just underwater. Can we carry any of the kittens? I don't know if we'll be able to reach them. Let's see. Let's see. Can we catch the kitten? Oh, I don't think we can catch the kitten. Let's head down here, get this one. And we don't have to worry about jumping up here because we could- Oh yeah, I forgot about the second one actually. Gotta get this one right here. Very nice. Oh, and you know what? There's the lucky cat bell power up up here. I wonder if we can collect this in time. Let's see. Let's try this. Let's try doing it from above. Ah, it disappears before we can get it. Okay, let's get this cat shine shard over here. Wow, this makes this easier. We can get that one. And then, here is our first cat shine with Bowser Jr. Whoa, that is a weird camera angle. The camera's pretty weird when you're underwater sometimes. Okay, then we've got to swim down here to this cat shine shard over here. Just right down here. There we go. The gate just moves and lets us in. And now we can collect it. And we've got another cat shine. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I see Cheep Cheeps down there. It's so weird to see the Cheep Cheeps swimming there when everything is water here, actually. Oh, we can- Oh! Okay, and over here, we can actually walk around as if this is normal floor because this is supposed to be water there. So water and air have been swapped. Okay, so this is water up here, but once we drop down, this is now land. So we can walk around down here. That's so nice. Okay, so if we want to go from island to island, it's actually faster to go like this, I think, than to swim. Because running is faster than swimming. Okay, we are up at Fort Flaptrap. How are we going to bully the cat bullies? That's going to be tough. Oh, and when you press the A button to swim, these actually don't get flipped. Oh, many enemies appeared all together. Uh-oh, and it looks like it's going to be the Bowser face. Okay, can we get the star? No, the star also disappears. Let's have Bowser Jr. defeat all the enemies for us. Bowser Jr., good job, Bowser Jr. Maybe we could defeat some of the Magic Koopas. Can we push the cat bullies at all? Whoa! Where's the bottom stem of Bowser? 
Let's see. Uh, can we make the bullies bounce around? You know what? This isn't very scary because if we go down here, then we can just swim up to avoid falling into the lava. Just kind of funny. Okay, let's get that cat bully in there. Very nice. Any more? Hooray! Got the cat side. That's so nice. And I don't know if all of the Magic Koopas have been defeated or if there are any more. Let's get this first. Wait, I don't see Bowser. Oh, there he is. It's weird that he's just floating there. That's so weird. That's so weird that he's just floating there. We are in water because air is now water. Okay, let's get the cat shine. Bowser's just there with his mouth open during this cutscene where everything is frozen. It's so weird seeing this without the goop. The goop is gone. This is so strange. It's like he's just floating there. You know what? I actually don't know if we'll be able to break this. Wait, I was crouching somehow. No, I don't think Bowser Jr. can break that. I don't know if there's a way for us- Oh, yes! Wait, but can we get in? I don't know if we could get in there. Can we send Bowser Jr.? I don't know if Bowser Jr. can get in there because there's a cat shine shard in there. Okay, what if we use the dash panel? It lights up, but it doesn't make us go any faster. I was crouching for a second earlier, but now I can't crouch, so I can't get in here. Okay, so let's go into where the water should be. And we are going to run along. We're going to run along to over here. This is such a weird way to move between the islands. I didn't think that we'd be moving between the islands like this. Okay, so let's head on over to Pounce Bounce Island over here. Oh, and this is nice because we can just swim up now. We don't have to do any pouncing or bouncing. Wait, where are the block steppers? Oh, maybe... Wait, I hear them, but I don't see them. I hear them marching, but I don't see them. I wonder if they can't appear underwater? That's very strange. I wonder what's going on. Ah! I couldn't get that power up in time. Maybe there's a way to get it. Maybe if we get Bowser Jr. to hit the blocks, then we'd be able to reach the power up in time, but I don't know. Okay, so we've got two of the cat shine shards so far. The jump panel doesn't really do anything for us. Oh, and that poofing thing over here. This is the key that is repeatedly appearing and disappearing. Let's see if we could grab- Oh! So we won't be able to do key to the cat shine because it just keeps disappearing like this. We actually can't even grab it. Okay, so let's get the third cat shine shard here. We can get this one easily. And now we can just swim past this entire section. Instead of using the jump panels, we can just swim up here. Because this is all water. Instead of having Bowser Jr. grab this cat shine shard or using the boomerang power up, we can just swim on over to it like that. We've got four of them now. I guess you can't grab a cat while you are underwater. At least not like this. Maybe with the super bell power up, you grab it and then the cat immediately disappears. All right, let's make our way down here. So normally there should be block steppers here, but we can't see the block steppers right now. So let's just pop down here and get the last cat shine shard. We get another cat shine for that, of course. Why did the camera go like this? You have collected five cat shines. The message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. When the beast awakens, so shall I. I don't know why the camera changed like this. Uh, looks like we might have to- Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Is- is that shadow that we're seeing? Does that mean that we are down there? Oh no, we are here, we are here, okay. Let's see, can we get the cat shine before Bowser comes out? Before it's the Fury Bowser phase, can we get the cat shine? I don't know if we're fast enough. He's almost ready- oh, we might get it, we might get it. Yeah, we can get it, we can get it. There we go! Six cat shines! What is the Bowser fight going to be like? I'm very curious about that. Okay, the Giga Bell has awakened! Okay, let's just drop down into land. This is where land normally- This is where land is now, because this is where water was. Let's run along this way. Oh, what is here? What is here? Is this just coins? Super Bowl- No, but we couldn't get it. Maybe if we ground pound, and then we send Bowser Jr. after it immediately, then we could get it. Okay. Okay, let's see what happens if we get the Giga Bell now. Wait! Okay, I was wondering if we would be able to get it. It almost looked like we wouldn't be able to touch it. Let's see how this fight will go. We have got our Giga Mario here, our Giga Cat Mario, and we are facing off against Fury Bowser. Okay, it looks a little weird to the side there. Wait, 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 wait. I have never seen anything like that. Did I just damage Fury Bowser by jumping on him? Is that what happened there? It looked like I had some iframes there, and it looked like I actually damaged him by jumping on him there. Okay, so the graphics look really weird here because the goop has been removed here. Oh, and since the goop has been removed here, it looks like you move at normal speed. And you can also jump just as high as you would normally jump. I'm very, very curious about Plessy because after this fight, we unlock Plessy. Looks like Bowser Jr. Wait! 
We have the super bell power up. This changes things. This changes things. I'm so glad that we have this. Do we have this because we got the giga bell? Does that normally happen? I'm not sure. Oh man, this is great. This is great. All right, let's see if we could grab that cat. Oh, and the baseball keeps disappearing into nothing because we are underwater. So this cat's trying to chase after the ball, but the ball just keeps disappearing. Let's see if we can pick up the cat. Okay. This is just like what happened when we tried to do the underwater brolder fight. Oh, wait, 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 but if I'm Cat Mario, then the cat will keep following me. So I don't know if grabbing the cat for just a quick partial second like that is long enough to return the cat to the mother. Let's try to return the cat to the mother. Because if you pick up the cat, this happens. You hold it for just a second, and then you drop it. Actually, I don't even know if you hold it or if you just swipe it. Let's see. I can't tell if we're holding the cat or not. Does that look like Mario is holding the cat? Let me know in a comment. There's a crying mother cat over here that would like its kittens back. So let's try returning the kitten. Oh, okay, you don't even have to carry it. You just have to bring it close enough. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so glad we could get that cat shine. Okay, I think we could get that cat shine over there pretty easily. Normally what you want to do is you swipe at this thing and then that comes out of the ground and then you can climb up it and get the cat shine, but we could actually just swim up to it. Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did Plessy go? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! Look at the Plessy! Look what happens to the Plessy! Where does Plessy go? Plessy just keeps falling and falling and getting smaller and smaller until it disappears. That's so weird! That's so weird that those Plessies just keep popping like that. Wait! Oh, I think, will we be able to use Plessy? Oh no, the Plessy just keeps falling. I hope we can get this Plessy. We've got to get this Plessy before it falls through the ground. What about the Plessy that was by the dock over there? That might have been our only chance ever to get Plessy. No, the Plessy that's standing by the dock isn't here anymore. That might have actually been our only chance ever to get Plessy. Wait, do we have Fury Shadow by the Shore now? Yes, Fury Shadow by the Shore is available over there now. So let's try doing Fury Shadow by the Shore. This Shadow Luigi boss fight might be a bit difficult now that we are under- Wait! Okay, good, it does activate. I was thinking that maybe he wouldn't activate. Man, Bowser Jr. is killing it for us. Okay, can we grab this at all? Let's see if we can grab this. No, nope, we can only kick it. I don't think that we will be fast enough to reach Shadow Luigi because he keeps running away as you get close. But luckily, Bowser Jr. is really fast, so Bowser Jr. can chase after him and get him. Bowser Jr. is doing an amazing job for us. Bowser Jr. just defeated that Fury Shadow by the shark. Bowser Jr. is acting like he's not even underwater. The water doesn't slow him down at all. Let's try jumping up into the Plessy. Nope. Wow. We just can't get onto the Plessy. Plessy, I'm sorry we couldn't save you. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Blue coin bustle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are definitely going to need to use Bowser Jr. for this. Because otherwise we are not going to be fast enough. Oh, there are coins there. Okay, so let's get those. And we have to head up here. Okay, we barely got that first set of coins. Okay, now let's head over Bowser Jr. There, 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 and there. And there. Okay, let's defeat those Magic Koopas. Is there a bit in the way? Oh, I don't know if we are going to be fast enough now or not. Is that all of them? Yes, that is all of them! Okay! There we go, got the cat shine. Now that we are Cat Mario, we can break this. But we still can't get in because we can't crouch. You can't crouch while you're in the water. Oh no, I don't want to lose my super bell power up. Oh no, 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 That was close. That was close. We definitely don't want to lose our super bell power up. Okay, so let's go down here. Okay, there we go. We are now on the surface. Right now, we are just running on the surface of the ocean. Oh, and let's see what happens to those spikes when they sink down. Oh, they sink down, then they just break. Oh, and it's really weird to see what this looks like from under the surface of the water because normally you can't see this down here. You can only see the part that's sticking up above the water normally. Okay, so normally there are some Goombas that are swimming around in here. Let's see what we are going to see now. Now it's just empty. And look, in the spot that Mario's walking around in, we can see that that has an effect on the surface of the water over there. Okay, so we could take the clear pipe cannon up there or we could swim up. Let's try taking the clear pipe cannon. 
And it looks like it just worked. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The camera is really weird for a second. Wait! All these Goombas are all just. Are the, all the Goombas just defeated because we're underwater? Because there were just coins. There weren't even any enemies here. Okay, can we skate underwater or do we just lose the skate immediately? Let's see. We can skate underwater! This is incredible! We are underwater, but we are still skating! Okay, but there isn't really much point in collecting the Cat Shine Shards because we can't collect the first one because the first one spawns with a Goomba stack. But the Goomba stack is dead, so I guess we lose the first Cat Shine Shard. But we can collect this Cat Shine right here. What if we go here? Wow! We don't even lose that- Oh! Oh, we are falling through the level! Oh no! Oh wow, there's a death area way down there! Oh! That was surprising, I didn't expect that to happen! I can't say that that's what I expected. Yeah, so with this skate, you fall very, very quickly. I actually wanted to make a video about that, but now that we have this, this is a nice way to show that off. So it looks like you can skate along the sides of the island here, but you want to be careful to not fall off, because if you fall off, you are in big trouble. This is actually a very unique way of playing the game, skating around like this. Uh-oh, don't fall off, Mario. Don't fall off, Mario. You know what happens if you fall off. How far can we take this skate? I'm curious to see if we can take this skate anywhere interesting. What if you run into these guys with the skate? Ah, oh, you lose the skate and you take damage? Wow. This level is definitely going to become easier. Trick Trap Tower. Because we'll just be able to swim to the top and then drop down to the cat shine. We can just swim on up here. And this will be such an easy way to drop down. Then we'll be able to just drop down to the cat shine here. And... There we go. Okay, and a pipe appears here for us, which is nice. We can go down the pipe. Oh, and it's funny that now all of a sudden the music changed. Okay, it is starting to rain, but... There's a cat shine right over there. I don't know if we can make it to that cat shine in time. Because that's pretty far and we swim pretty slowly. Can we make it, please? No, I don't think we can make it. I think it's too far. Oh, it's close. It's close. Can we make it before Bowser wakes up? Oh my goodness, that was like maybe a fraction of a second before Bowser appears. Yeah, Bowser appeared right after that. That was crazy. Oh man, and now Bowser appears all of a sudden. Okay, and now all of a sudden, this is land here. Oh, and the goop is over here. Wow, it's so funny to see how the goop goes down a little bit like this. What if we walk into it? Okay, you take damage by walking into it, so we can't go under it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, when we were running here... When we jumped, we did a spin jump here. We did a jump like the way that you do when you're normally on ice, didn't we? That's what it looked like. I can't do it again. Yeah, right there. If you're really close to the edge here, it looks like when you jump, the game acts like you are still on the ice if you're really close to these surfaces. That's crazy. Will we be able to use any of these? Oh, what happens if you get the propeller box while you're underwater? Let's see. Wait! You don't lose the propeller box, but you actually can't use it. We are just floating around. With the propeller box, we're not using the propeller- Look at Mario's little feet just paddling over there. This is so strange. I never thought that I would see something like this in Bowser's Fury. Okay, so there's a Cat Shine Shard up here. This is quite the interesting way to move around Crisp Clive Castle. Okay, let's go down this pipe and let's see. Do we still keep our propeller box? Oh no, that just brings you back down to here. Okay, but we do still keep the propeller box. Okay. So let's float up to the next part of Crisp Climb Castle. Yep, instead of having to float over to the next part of Crisp Climb Castle, we have our propeller box, which we don't use, but we do swim on over to the next part. Then we can just head on back here and just swim our way over to the Cat Shine Shard. And of course, in the background, we can just see Plessy falling. All right, then we can climb up here. And this one over here, I always thought that this was one of the most hidden Cat Shine Shards in the game. That one over there, that one took me a while to find the first time I was playing this game. That was quite well hidden, the way that you have to go up there. This removes so much of the challenge from the game, just being able to swim over like this. Because if you fall, it's like, you're not really falling because you can just swim back up like this. One of the hardest things about this mod is when you have to do something with a timer because you move through the water so slowly. 
That's probably the biggest challenge and the thing that makes some cat shines impossible. But other ones like this, where you have to climb or do any kind of platforming, any kind of platforming or movement that you have to do in this game that isn't on a timer is just so much easier because you can just swim around like this. Oh, I wonder if this water down here, if the water has been changed into air. Let's go down and see. Let's first get this cat shine here. Very nice cat shine. Okay, and for some reason, when we get a cat shine, the camera follows us like all the way down here, but we're not there. I don't know where we are and why the camera is not near us. Where are we? Okay, so we got another propeller box. I want to go check out that water at the top of Crisp Climb Castle. This should be impossible because you can't take a propeller box into the water. You normally lose your propeller box once you fall into the water. But if you're already underwater while you get the propeller box, then you do keep it and Mario can actually swim around while inside the propeller box, which looks absurd to see. All right, now let's see what happens if we fall into this water here while we have our propeller box. Will we lose our propeller box? That is the question. Or will we keep it? You lose it! Oh wait! This area hasn't been replaced with water. That area also counts as water. That's why. Aww. It's funny to see Mario swimming on the surface of the water here. But when you go up, it still is water, so you still keep swimming. It's really interesting that we can see that the rest of Clawswipe Coliseum is still below the level. So as you collect more cat shines in the level, the level does come up and the tower gets taller and taller. But at the start, the rest of the tower is actually still below the ground. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this is so much more surprising than I thought it would be. Wow. I didn't think that it would look like this. Maybe now we could actually drop down below here. Let's see. I wonder if we'll die. Well, let's see. Let's first go over here. Let's do this boss fight first, actually. Okay, there's Cat Boom Boom. He's ready to fight. I love that we can just swim here. If Cat Boom Boom is scary, then we can just swim on up to where he can't reach us. I wonder if Bowser's fire can reach us here or not. Let's see. Or is there an invisible wall that prevents it from reaching us? Let's see. Yep, looks like his fire can't reach us here. You know what? Since there's no water here, let's drop down. Let's see. Oh! Oh, there's just floor here that doesn't let you go any lower. It's so weird that we can see down there that that's where the rest of Claw Swipe Coliseum is, but we actually can't go down there. It's interesting to see how these come out of the ground over here. I can't remember if I've showed this in a video before or not. Let's check out this cloud bonus area, because we can just float up to this cloud. Okay, good, 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 it is changed. I was wondering if it would be changed or not, because for a moment it looked like we were just going to be walking normally. But yeah, looks like we're underwater. Just got our Cat Mario walking along like this. And it's nice that we have Bowser Jr. set to help us out a lot, so he just collects all the coins for us, and he just goes and defeats the enemies. And we're getting lots of coins, so we're getting lots of bonus power-ups. I don't know if we'll be able to use any of them. Like, what if we try to use that? Oh! Oh, it looks like we actually can get power-ups! I was worried that the power-ups would get destroyed if we try to use them. But it looks like the power-ups that we get from 100 coins that we can use them. Now when all these are defeated, that should spawn a cat shine, which is very nice. That means that we will now have 18 cat shines. And there we go, 18 cat shines. No. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mario actually sunk through the floor. That's so weird. Hold on. Can you normally do that? Oh, you could normally do that? What? Oh, well, I guess you can't normally do that because this area isn't full of water, so you can't swim up like that. Okay, so that actually makes sense that you can swim up like that. But that's so weird that after we get a cat shine, the camera changes and it brings us down a little bit. Once we make our way down here, we get another cat shine for collecting all of the cat shine shards here. And we are up to 20 now. Oh, and... Since this should be an area with water, this instead ends up being land, and Mario can just stand here. He can actually crouch and walk around here. Oh wow, you know what? I never took a close look at these symbols over here. So that first one, that looks like the flag that pops up at the top of the lighthouse. Then those look like trees with cat ears. We've got some light going out of the lighthouse with some water underneath it. We've got a gigabell over there. Oh, and then we can see over there, that looks like a giga cat Mario. We've got some more of these trees. What is this one, though? I don't know what this one is. And then over here, we've got two cats. But what could this one be? 
I wonder what that one is, the blue one. I can't tell what that is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That works in a very weird way when you're underwater. Okay, you can grab onto this when you're underwater. I don't want to fling myself away by accident. Okay, the flinging is kind of funny. You might be wondering how Bowser's shooting fire at us when we're underwater. Hey, if we're underwater, how can there be a... I wonder if we can go under this water and we will end up on the ground again. Let's see if we can. I really hope so. Yes! We can go onto the ground here. Oh, I'm so glad that we can run along here. We can get to Mount Magnail so much faster than if we had to swim over. This is fantastic. It is incredibly bright with all the goop removed. We're going to swim up Mount Magnail. Here we go. Wait a minute. What in the world is that cannon down there? Is that normally there? That looks so weird. Looks like there's a cannon that just shoots you down there. Is this normally here? What in the world? Is that normally there? Oh, maybe you're normally supposed to take these switchboards to get up to there. Oh, and there comes the floating island. You know what? Let's get the catch line on the floating island then. If the floating island is going to be coming here. Hopefully it does. Please come this way, floating island! I never thought this would be the way that I go to the floating island. This is an island that it just floats around above Lake Lapcat. But yeah, we just swam over to it. So that's one way that you can get onto the island. You can just wait for it to come over here and then you can climb up onto it. But we just swam over to it since this all used to be air. So now it's all water. Mount Magmeow is certainly very different when you can swim like this. And there's an unsuspecting fire brother. Oh wow, we didn't even get to get him. Bowser Jr. is really taking initiative today. It looks like there's one of those cat wheel things over there that you're supposed to hit so that this comes up so that you can get this cat shine. But we could just swim on over to it. Did it teleport us below the level? Tell me it didn't just teleport us below the level. Oh, and I'm surprised that this doesn't go down super far. I was kind of expecting that this would go down lower. I'm surprised that this doesn't extend down farther than it does. But, we should just be able to swim on up here, and get this catch line that's just right up here, on the floodgate's edge. Okay, so we are up here swimming in the water, swimming in the water, and what if we go here? Hooray! This is considered land! That's funny that this is considered land here, because this is normally supposed to be water, but this is land now. Just swimming on over- oh wait, hold on, what if we walk on these? I wonder if we walk on these if they will start to fall down. Let's see. Oh, if you stand on them, they start to fall, but even if they do fall, it's no big deal because you could just swim back up. I wonder what happens if it responds while you're there. Like, let's try floating here. What if it responds... Yeah. You can have something like this with Mario's head just peeking out like that. Can you swim up to it normally? Oh, normally you can't even swim up through it. Since it's solid on all sides, it's kind of funny letting it spot on you like that. Because then you could come up through it or fall below it. And then it becomes solid again. Look at Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is like a trusty guard dog. It just chases after that Shadow Luigi like it is an intruder in your home. I didn't even have to give Bowser Jr. any commands and Bowser Jr. just started chasing after Shadow Luigi. This is certainly a unique way of seeing Bowser's Fury with everything so bright like this. We're seeing some interesting colors here. This looks like one of the filters that you'd see in snapshot mode. Oh, this one actually looks really cool. The way that this shows up, that actually looks really cool. I like the way that this looks a lot, actually. But yeah, it looks like we have one of those filters that are permanently active right now. You know, we don't really have to worry about the lava down here, because if we're going to fall, we can just start swimming and then we won't fall into the lava. But, what we could just do to make things easy, we don't have to worry about any of those rotating lava platforms over there, because we can just swim on up here, and once we get high enough, we can just collect the cat shine that is right there. Super easy. Oh wait, whoa, 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 These bob bobs that pop out, they just explode right away. They just explode right away, so I don't even have a way to explode that over there. Look, when they pop out, they just explode immediately. I guess you can't have bob bombs underwater, and even if you hit it with your boomerang, it also explodes. So there's nothing I could do to explode that over there. So I can't get the catch shine shard that's in there. Yeah, and look, over here, we just have bob that are all exploding. The bob pop out and they explode right away. It looks like Bowser Jr. keeps going to check over on the bob -obs. He's like, you better explode! You better explode! And when they explode, he's like, okay, good, good. I'm going back to my desk now. And whenever another bob pops out, he goes to check on it again. Now, I had to replay the entire game back up to this point. 
to see what happens when we make it onto this Plessy. Let's see. Okay, Plessy jumps. And as expected, we- wait, now what will happen? Will we die? <laughs> oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! This is so much stranger than I thought. This was very, very worth it. What is happening, though? <laughs> this is so weird. We jump, we float up a bit, and then we just come back down. I'm scared to get off Plessy. I'm actually very scared to get off Plessy. Okay, we can still destroy the trees. Let's try to jump and do a dive. Let's go like this. Ah, oh, I didn't get to do a dive. Okay, hopefully we come back soon. What is going on? Where are we? Okay, let's go this way. Okay, okay, okay. I think we might be able to make it to some land. Let's see. Oh, so it's like you keep going down. We can almost make it up to there. This is how Plessy moves now. This is how Plessy moves. I am so glad that I replayed the entire game back up to this point. Let's jump and dive. We're diving downwards right now. And yeah, it looks like once you fall to a certain height, it just respawns you up high. And then you keep falling like this. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we are back on land. But when we jump, it's so strange! Oh, it's because we're underwater. That's probably why things are so weird. Okay, what if we dismount, Plessy? Let's try dismounting and let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is absolutely incredible. I am so happy that we get to witness this. This is exactly what my YouTube channel was made for, so that we can see things like this. And I really hope that you're enjoying this video. Let's just have a look around Plessy. Plessy, are you okay? What if we jump on Plessy? Wait. I don't think we can even jump back on Plessy. Plessy's just stuck like this now. Oh, no. And it looks like Plessy is just going to be stuck like this forever now. Yep, we can't get onto Plessy, confirmed. A big thank you to Goomba456 for making this mod. It was really interesting to swim around Bowser's Fury and be able to skip a lot of the levels with Mario swimming by everything. And it was really cool to see the game from a different perspective. If you enjoyed this video, you might like my video where we play through Super Mario 3D World with water and air swap. A big thank you to you for watching this far into the video. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have an amazing day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.